Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day of the video, Darren. How's it going today? Today, um, it's going to be a bit different from yesterday. Yesterday was just a day of me just, like, blurting small little things at you. And it had, like, next to no structure, and it really annoyed me, and I really found it hard to find a, a title for the story. Today, however, is going to be very, 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 very different. By which I mean, kind of, really, not really, maybe? Depends what you want by different, doesn't it? Um, it's currently the evening, I've already had my dinner and whatnot, um, but my room's kind of cold. Um, <laughs> and it looks nice out, it's actually kind of chilly out, which is why I've got my thick hoodie on. Um, but I thought like, uh, wait, why not, let's just head on out. I've got my laptop instead of my Nexus, and we're going to write a blog. And by write a blog, I mean finish the blog, I've already started writing. Um, that's the thing on my to-do list today, like, literally the one only thing on my to-do list. And I'm like, well the weather looks nice, with the exception of that great big cloud as well. Um, it's like bright, it's relatively warm, I mean it's not cold. Um, why not, let's just head on out, you know, get some fresh air. Do something other than, uh, yeah I'm trying to like just get away from the desk to be honest with you. Been at my desk all day at work and then come back and just sit and type more at my desk. Kind of bugs me, so. Bring my laptop out, a bit of fresh air, then maybe go back and sit in my chair. Oh, crazy times. I live an absolutely crazy life. What? What? Why is the park so empty? Are all the students revising or something? Or I was expecting to have like something to look at at least. Grief alive. Let's go and try and find a bit where there's a bit of sun, shall we? There's a bit, so I'm not just sat in the shade, bloody freezing my face off. Find somewhere nice to sit and as I walk over to it, huge cloud looms in and blocks the sun. Yeah, it actually is a lot colder than I originally thought. <laughs> oh gosh, what a friggin' waste of time. <laughs> let's, just, let's just head back and just sit in my chair and have a cup of tea. Oh gosh, it's cold. Um, <laughs> even with this hoodie on, this hoodie's a warm hoodie. It's a lot colder than it looks. It was warm earlier when I was came home from work and I'm like, nah, I'll have dinner first. Um, idiot. So. What's been going on today then, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get down to the point of this video. Um, today, I woke up and I was pretty tired this morning. Um, I almost didn't want to get up, but I got up. I was going in early. I could have a half day Friday today, because it's Friday, after all. But um, my uh, manager wanted to go through some deployment stuff with me, and we normally go through stuff like early in the morning. We both get in at like eight-ish. So I thought, I'll get there for eight, just in case. Just in case he's expecting me at eight. So I pop up at 8 and then we talk about it all day, so happy birthday. Um, but otherwise, today was a pretty good day. I was going through generating lots of data, finding find a load of issues with getting said data and then like kind of manipulating it in a way, having to play with the software that I had in order to get it. Um, it was good fun really, we sat with um, uh, uh, the other scrum master, the other team scrum master came and sit with us so she could sort out our board and stuff. And um, it was just like genuinely good fun, just like having a good chin wag. You know, um, and like Ben's not there. Ben's on holiday now for two weeks, and it's just like it's just a different. Atm when people aren't there, it's like a. Di it's weird. <laughs> I'm not saying like I don't like him, but it's like a different atmosphere. It's a bit strange. Maybe it's because it's the first day. It might get boring enough after this. But we made some like great, um, great progress though on the things we needed to do. And I'm currently, literally right now, my computer unfortunately is uh, <laughs> running all weekend. <laughs> working its socks off for me all weekend. Um, I'm currently firing through some like 12,000 um, quotes, <laughs> which is going to be funny. So YOLO. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, and yeah, that's like our first full mass scale bulk test. We haven't had anything that size before up until now. Um, and we're all using like live data. The idea is that we're using data from throughout the year. So we've got like a year's worth of data, um, or, a ten, or a percentage of a year's worth of data, so we can properly figure out like um, if we're going to uh, come across problems in a year's time, let's say. Back and in the warm, I even took my glasses with me, expecting to be there for a decent amount of time. I didn't realise the sun was literally going down right now, um, or behind that huge ass cloud. So I'm going to sit down now and get my thing. Um, but yeah, work was work was good. It was actually quite good today. Heading home, I was gonna um, car come on the way home, but um, ended up uh, convoying with old Louis Theroux, which was uh, funny <laughs> because I was ahead of him and then he overtook me and then I overtook him and it was just all round banter. But we came around like a, a round, he's got like a, a Mazda RX-8, and it's a, it is a nice car. Like the heads off to it, it's a nice car. But Mazdas, as far as I'm aware, both of the Mazdas I've been in 
are heavy. <laughs> They're heavy as hell. They can be powers, as powerful as they want to be. Hello. They can be as powerful as they want to be, but they're heavy as all hell. Um, so we came around this roundabout, like we came up to a roundabout, like literally like next to each other. And um, he tried to, um, no it wasn't, he was behind me. And we co up. it's like a fast road, it's like a 50 mile an hour road. Uh, and he tried to like pull over to the side. He just came around the roundabout and just went into the fast lane to overtake me. I was like, no. <laughs> and just put my foot down and I was like, yeah, my friend. Yeah, my friend. And then um, the only reason he overtook me was because I got stuck behind uh, some people. And then he just went one car in front of me and then just like literally just in front of me and then barged his way in. Whereas I wouldn't do that because I don't like people who do that. I don't like people who barge in. I just get into the right lane and just stay in that lane. Because um, that's what you're supposed to do, damn it. But yeah, he, I think he was a bit of surprised that um, I could... He's, yeah, I could just uh, put my foot down and just like keep up with him slash stay ahead of him um so ha <laughs> um yeah yeah I mean, like i say it's got a nice car but it seems to rev a lot but not really do much with them revs you know what i mean you know what i mean mate you know what i mean so i came home had myself some dinner had a pie and chips today um and yeah i'm about to start writing my blog um i'm kind of annoyed at this this arrangement yeah i've got to do some clothes washes over the weekend like, ideally, I want to change these, change my bedding. But I don't think I'm in a position to do a whites wash. But I've also got too much, too many colours to do just the duvets. Because it's a friggin' huge duvet. So I've got to figure out the balance I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do that though. I'm just going to have to do colours and then do like one batch of colours and then another batch of colours and then do a whites wash like at some point in the future when I've worn enough whites, which I'm not currently doing. All right then, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a small change in plan of what I'm doing this evening. We're doing it. We've we crossed the point of no return. I'm upgrading this software. I'm upgrading my operating system. I'm getting Windows 10 on it. I'm gonna get the developer preview because I hardly use this computer and I'm only really gonna use it when I go to university. Um, and I'm gonna, to, to be honest with you, I'm gonna use it for really crap things. Like, I don't, like this computer now, Literally, I don't need a Windows machine anymore. I could just have a Chromebook. I could very easily just have and be happy with a Chromebook that doesn't have, isn't very powerful or whatever, and just does Word docs, but does Word docs, docs quickly. This is so ridiculously slow, and I believe every time I use it, I really like it, because I really like the keyboard, and I just like the idea of just being able to like lie back and just write tap, tippity tap taps on stuff for that kind of stuff it isn't half bad it isn't half bad at all and i can see my cat is being stroked by someone else outside you asshole cat um but yeah so but like it's just this computer just runs so slow like so horrendously slow so i'm just gonna wipe it and just put the whole thing over and like i don't use it for anything literally for anything restart pc to continue I'm surprised you haven't asked me to put my battery in yet but, um, like, I'm just going to move over to Windows 10, because Windows 10 should bring along some performance boosts compared to Windows 7. And I, I'm just genuinely, I'm so sick of this computer and it being so slow. Because I only really bought it for, um, uh, I only really bought it for it being, like, thin and light and long battery. And while it's still got a long battery, it's got a long battery because it's bloody slow. <laughs> it shouldn't have Windows 7 on it, and I think I've put a load of developer stuff on, and it just chugs now. It's probably because I don't use it often enough, that might be it. But I need to, like, when I go to university next year, Windows 10 will be out. So this is going to be, like, if I, if I can get stuff working on this, then I'll move this out. Like, my plan is I'm not moving Atlas over to Windows 10 until after I graduate, in theory. Um, unless I can get all the software I need, in which case I might, I might just have a go at that. But, um, yes, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm doing this evening now. Balls to the blog, lol. Right, I think that's doing its thing. Just discovered, realised that I've just been lying down and watching YouTube videos on my phone. Because I couldn't be bothered to turn Atlas on. So, we're making a cup of tea. The cup of tea that I was going to have when I first got in the door and didn't have. Um, and then, and then, and then. I'm going to do that blogging I said I was going to do earlier. Lol, lol a troll, lol lol a troll. So I've just been, hold on, I've just, my tea's just, kettle's just bored. Um, I was just moving to uninstall, um, uh, I got this thing, one of you, um, 
What's your name? Alex. Alex. A girl, Alex. Is that Alexandra? Some of pipe, uh, pop pipe, some of that. One of you guys uh, recommended getting like flux for the for the PC, which uh, essentially like discolors the screen. It um, turns everything like a bit yellow to stop it being so bright. And um, I was just going through and install that because it's fucking annoying. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's all right if you were to well, single-handedly moving sugar over in an attempt not to uh, spill it everywhere. Oh. Fucking tense vlog in this, isn't it? Tense TV. They say that YouTube's going to be the death of the TV industry, and there's your proof. Um, but yeah, the idea is that it turns your screen yellow so that it's not like as bright and it doesn't ditch as much blue light into your eyes. Um, and it's kind of a good replacement for things like things like. Um, I've now become a fan of uh, Visual Studio Dark theme. I wasn't a fan before. Um, in fact, the programming video, which is going to go up on Sunday on the main channel, is in the blue theme. So it's that shows how short, of, as, like how quickly I've now suddenly got over to the dark theme. Um, but now I get annoyed at things like Microsoft Word that don't have a dark theme yet. In Windows 10 they will, um, or the latest version will, but like Google Docs doesn't have a dark theme. I mean, it makes no sense to me. Why don't you have a dark theme? <laughs> Why? Like, if, you, if you're making a software that's designed for people to just sit and stare at it for a couple of hours, then you need to make it relatively dark, you know? It doesn't need to be all bright and vibrant like things like YouTube do, or websites do. I don't know. That's not, well, I guess that's kind of a split, isn't it, in the industry? In, in, like, the computing design industry? Because mobile is going all, like, bright and flat colours and stuff. Like, Android is very bright and very colourful. But then PCs, or at least, by what I say PCs, I mean um, advanced tools for business and things for like people who use computers a lot as opposed to things for people who just use computers every now and again. And I don't mean like use of computers every now and again. Like a lot of, like a lot of people say they use computers a lot, but really they just use like Google Chrome. Like there's no need for them to have Windows. Nine times out of ten, like no, you, I guarantee you that like eighty percent of the population don't need Windows. They just need like friggin' well, excluding businesses. This is like consumers. Eighty percent of consumers don't need Windows. They just need Google Chrome, and that's it. They don't need anything. Everything else is on the web, and the web is all like bright and da da da. But um, like everything else is very things like Visual Studio program. Well, is it, maybe it's just developing stuff. But no, what I'm saying is like. Oh no, because then there's things like Movie Maker, well, not Movie Maker, uh, Adobe, all the Adobe tools, they're all dark, aren't they? But yeah, like that's what I mean, like there's the, the hard computer software is usually like dark. It's going it's going darker, like they're creating dark themes for things. But phones have relatively light themes. It's like Windows phones. Windows phones have dark themes. Um da -da 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 -da. So if, like, there's this whole thing how they're trying to merge the difference between apps and computer programs, how are they going to do that if the designs for both of them are fundamentally different? It's an interesting one, isn't it? No, no, it's not, Jamie. No, it's not. Um, but anyway, <laughs> where, where did that story come from? Um, I was going to uninstall this Flux thing, and I went onto my programs to uninstall it, and I realised that... Okay, so I installed it on the 26th of the 5th. Yeah, I hope, I'm assuming you can see what, what is now. 27th of the 5th, apparently uh, Skype got updated. Visual Studio Code got installed the 30th of October this year. Somehow. Somehow. I don't know how. Oh, look how much nicer that is compared to the dirty yellow it was a minute ago. Hey, hey, for total fun and banter, I'm still awake, it's ten past midnight, um, and this is still booting, installing Windows. I almost, like, said it, told it to keep my apps and stuff on it, apps and personal files, but everything I have on that is, it's like, all in the cloud, and irrelevant, or, I just, like, you know what I mean, just get rid of it. We're going completely, we're completely stripping it clean by installing Windows 10, so that's what we're doing. And in other news as well, I've nuked this computer as well, so Atlas has been wrecked. Um, I thought, you know what, it'll be a clever idea. While we're fucking around with that computer, let's remove my dual boot. 
<laughs> let's remove it so that uh, Ubuntu isn't dual booted anymore because I never use Ubuntu and if I ever on a random occasion do need Ubuntu I'll just virtual machine it instead don't know why I ever set it up as a dual boot when I have a friggin virtual machine options so I did that tried to boot Windows back up and <laughs> so um, yeah I'm working through working through stuff to bring this back online as well now so it's gonna be a late night <sighs> All right then, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to bed. The short answer is <laughs> that oh, I wonder if I could use my pie. Either way, probably could actually. Um, the short answer is that Atlas is currently dead. Um, I can't boot her, which isn't great. It's not ideal. It's got to be said. The, I mean, uh, there are better things that could have. I could be in a better scenario right now. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, let try to turn the brightness down on that. This is currently installing. We're like 13% or something crazy. It's, and it's one o'clock, so it's going to take my old friggin' mic. And I'm not waiting up for it. <laughs> the only reason I was waiting up for it was to turn the light off. Or I was thinking, oh, maybe I could... All I need to do to boot thingy up is basically just get, um, get recovery thing. Put it onto my... Like irritatingly <laughs> like here's here's the thing i recommend having one really really good computer and then one like piece of shit computer that you don't really care about like a laptop don't waste money on a super expensive laptop it's pointless just buy a super expensive desktop and then buy a piece of shit laptop um and if you need like a lot of power on the go just remote into your desktop easy so yeah but anyway so one, you have one workhorse for anything that you need to do that's powerful, and you've got one that's portable work on the go. Try not to get too weak, however, because you turn out like me and have a computer that takes like 20 minutes to turn on, which is a nightmare, and it's not even that old, so it's got no excuse. Um, but anyway, um, but the other advantage of having two different computers is that if one fails, you can use the other one to sort it out. However, don't go fucking around with both of them at the same time. <laughs> don't go friggin' YOLO... Just wipe the um, wipe the friggin operating system from that one and in the same friggin hour Decide you know what I'm just gonna remove an operating system from this too. What can go wrong? Eh? Hey, hey. oh, It's a good job. I have backups and stuff in it. I could actually boot straight from a backup, but I don't really want to I don't want to I want to just boot it up properly <laughs> uh. It's kind of good though. To, uh, well, it's not good. It's not good at all. But it's it's kind of like a thing in it. Like if you reinstall Windows every now and again, it, your Windows is just super good. <laughs> it's just like because your computer just clogs and clogs and clogs. And I've got so much shit on that computer that I just don't need. Just flat out don't need. Like it needs to come back because uh, there's a there's a video on it that I need to upload on Sunday, and it took me fucking ages to make that video. So I'm not going to be impressed if I have to do a backup and don't get it back. I should get it back. Touch wood. Just try not to stress about it, eh? In the scenario that I don't get it back, then um, at least <laughs> it's like all it's all or nothing, and either get everything back or nothing back at all. Um, and either I get everything back, everything tonky dory, or I get nothing back and I get a slightly faster, better laid out computer, which is probably good moving into. Um, university next year so swings and roundabouts so anyway i'm gonna go go to bed and try not to hate myself for being an idiot this is why i don't mess about with shit like this i should have just left the problem is like i i have ubuntu on it and every time i turn it on it says do you want to do windows or ubuntu and i'm like fuck i never use ubuntu because it's pointless there's nothing windows can't do don't know why i ever got it i think i got it through some weird i probably Friggin talked myself into it thinking if I'm in this then I can't mess about and distract myself in inverted commas and it is like a little bit some things are a little bit easier only a tiny fraction easier um, so I'll dual boot it instead of getting a um, virtual machine just get a virtual machine man it's not worth the grief it's not even like the virtual machine has to be a weak virtual machine because friggin just half atlas and then there you go <laughs> you've got a beast of a computer underneath you oh man anyway to bed. I've exhausted my phone battery watching YouTube videos. When am I going to put my laptop so that I don't get blinded with it overnight? If I close your screen, 
do you hibernate in this mode? Doesn't sound like it's hibernated. Uh, annoyingly, however, um, can I put it? Will the power cable reach its desk? Reach the desk? Because I don't really want to listen to its fan all night. Just churning away. Hmm. Mild health and safety hazard. But, uh, yeah. Solved it. Right, I'm going to bed because I'm a bit tired. I'm, it's very rare that I stay up beyond 12 o'clock these days. Um, so tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing? We've got a lot to do and more now. Thanks to the fact that I don't have two functional computers. Hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow and I've got Windows 10. And from Windows 10 I'll be able to do everything I need to do in order to get Atlas back up and running. Um, it should just be a case of just going, no, 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 lol, there you go, happy days. Um, but, maybe not, who knows. Um, we've also got to organise some things, we've got to do clothes wash, got to do, there's like a load of like odd stuff to do. I'm probably going to head out to town tomorrow, because it just makes, it gives my, hopefully, I've got some free time to do that. Um, also sorting out blogs and stuff. Quite a lot, quite a lot of pitter pattering, pottering things to do. Um, but yeah, oh god, I'm a bit tired. I can feel my eyes drooping. I also feel like I'm going to sneeze, so it might be a heavy, but who knows. I'll catch you later.